Hey y'all, I'm Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for me and mash that notifications bell and make sure you hit all so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm at 471 subscribers and as soon as I hit 500, that following video will have all kinds of instructions in it so that you have an opportunity to be entered to win some of the wonderful products that I carry as a thank you for supporting my small business and helping me grow. Today's a video, it's kind of like a hodgepodge of things. I've got some things that I went thrifting for with my son, and then I've got one of the items that was in that house that was torn down, and then I had some cathedral arched windows that were just the same plain stained ones that everybody has, and I wanted to change them up and make them a little bit different. I did decide to use salt wash. I'm not great at it, and I wanted to work on it so I can improve my skills. So come with me and let's see what I get done this week. Let's go. Hey y'all, I'm out thrifting today. I'm up in Bristol and we decided to stop at the antique home and decor mall. So let's go in and see what we can find. My son and I were taking care of some personal business up in Bristol and we saw this shop and wanted to stop in. It was a hodgepodge of things, a bunch of different booths, very large, um, and it had some good prices and some bad prices. And uh, I picked up a candlestick with a wonky candle on it, pretty good priced. And I picked up this cutting board and um, the cloche that went on top and then some ball canning jars with the old uh, porcelain and metal lids. With this one, all I did here was sand it down both sides with a 320 um, sandpaper and I smoothed out some of the cuts. This back side here is a cutting board. And then once I got it all smoothed out, I went and got my Sweet Pickens hemp oil, which is an all natural food safe uh, sealer and I took it and went over all of the wood you see how nice it brought it back a really nice shine and it conditioned the wood it's beautiful After I finished with the cutting board and cheese board, I got out the candlestick that I bought at the same antique mall. It is a ceramic candlestick, and we got that wonky half-melted candle off of it, and I gave it a good coat to start with DIY's weathered wood. I then dried it with my heat gun, and then I decided I wanted to add some texture to it. I haven't been great at using the salt wash, so I need to keep practicing and I mixed it. It says mix it 50-50 equal parts. However, I've noticed when using it with the DIY paint that that's not needed because it's already such a thick clay-based paint. So I just add a little bit at a time until I get that texture that I'm needing so it'll leave the stiff peaks on the project. I sealed up the candlestick with my DIY big top and then I started stippling it after that dried. You see how it leaves that texture and you're, you're dabbing it on and then there's textures and peaks. Then after that, you'll knock those down a little bit and then paint over the top of that with the color that you want as your main color. This here is a blush that I've created. I've used Kissing Booth, Cowgirl Coral, and Bohemian Blue just a little bit. I'll leave that down in the description box. Once it was dried, I used the sandpaper here, a 220 grit, and you see how when you sand it back, you get that texture from the salt wash coming through. I then took out my DIY clear wax. You see me here putting it in a separate container. That is so that you don't contaminate it and it doesn't spoil. You see me here waxing it with this amazing buttery soft wax. It's beautiful. And then I took out my buffing brush and I buffed it to a beautiful shine the next day. I did let the wax sit on it for 24 hours and harden first before I went back to buff it. Well y'all, how do you guys think it turned out? Have you ever tried salt wash? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. My next project this came out of the dumpster from the home that was torn down and it had a lot of chipping paint so I hit it with the sander first before I started. 
And then I mixed apothecary and salt wash and crinoline and salt wash. And I put a little bit of it throughout the top to give it some more texture. Once I was done with that, I went to my go-to Klingon brushes and I used my F30 and my DIY go-to beadboard white. And I coated the top. Once I was done, I used my heat gun to speed up the drying process and I didn't record me sanding it and I apologize that I forgot. But once I was done, this is how it turned out and then I wanted to grunge it up a little bit more so I got out my DIY black wax and I covered it in black wax and then I wiped it back. And for my fourth project today, I have a pair of cathedral arched windows, just plain Jane, and I wanted to customize them a little bit. So I used the crinoline and the apothecary. I mixed it with some salt wash and I added some texture to the windows. And then I got out my go-to Klingon brush. It is the F30 and my DIY beadboard white. Once it was dry, I used my 220 grit sandpaper and I brought back the texture and I distressed the windows a little bit. And when I was completely done, I decided to add some DIY black wax. All of the paint and products and these projects in today's video can be found at stellarosboutique.co or in my shop at Stella Rose Mercantile and Boutique at 524 Justice Drive in Greenville, Tennessee. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you've hit that subscribe button and mash that notifications bell. I'm at 471 subscribers and as soon as I hit 500, we're going to do a giveaway and you don't want to miss that notification. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.